Hey guys, it's Shami from Crafts Names and Things. So today we are going to do a doodle bug, and this will be a part of my a part of the Love's Fall Art collaboration that's going on YouTube right now. Um, this is going to be one of the videos for that wonderful collaboration. And when I think of the fall, I always think about hot cider and hot tea and hot cocoa. It's right before it's going to get cold. So I always love to have just a beautiful cup to drink out of. This is my normal one. And I love this one. Um, but it's always good to have another. So um, I belong to the Deco Arts Helping Artists program. So they have these beautiful enamel stencils. Right? And I'm kind of going to do this like in a doodle style. The only problem is that you guys know that I'm not a very good drawer. So um, they have these great stencils. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. And I will put the links below to all their products and show you the stencils that I'm going to use. So I'll probably use either one of these or maybe both. I'm not sure. I got this mug at the dollar store. It's been washed and dried. Um, I will wipe it with alcohol and then I have some enamel paint, paints here too so I don't know what I'm going to use yet. I also have some paint pins just to add some detail. These are glass deco arts glass paint markers and they work great so those are pretty awesome and then I also have these daubers these glass stencil daubers and um, they're to use on glass so I'm going to use those so let's get started so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a, a paper towel and I'm going to clean off this mug with alcohol just to make sure that I remove any of my handprints all that kind of stuff on um, things that would interfere with the design coming out so I'm just wetting this gently and I'm just going to go around the entire mug okay. just like that And this is great because um, we will be able to bake this. We're going to let it cure for four days and then you just bake it at 375 for I think it's like 30 minutes and then it's all ready to go. And I will make sure that I put the directions on how you bake things um, at the end. But I definitely want to try to make a doodle mug. So we'll just give that a few seconds to dry. And I'm just going to kind of think of a design that I like. I really like this down here. I think that's a good start of a doodle. And I'm just going to use um, my pins just to enhance it a little bit, my design. Pull these up. And these are great because they're stick on, which means that your stencil isn't going to go anywhere. I just love that. And you can put, you know, a bunch of different kinds of stencils um, all in the same place. So I'm thinking, let me open the other one too. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one central, one like vocal point first and then we'll work from there. Alrighty, so I kind of like this one. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to take that one and this is dry. It just took a few seconds to dry and I'm going to stick that on just like that. As straight as I can. Okay, and I'm sure you could find other tutorials of people doing this. I'm sure that I'm not the first person, but I just want to share with you kind of my process of um, what I like to do. So let's kind of, I am going to use this one next, but I'm thinking, well, let's start out with, what am I going to do first? Let's see, what can I do here? Yeah. Let's start out with this one first, okay? So I have it on my mug. I'm going to work with it this way so you can see it a little better. Okay, and we're just going to... I'm attempting to get it straight, but it's not going to work. I just need to accept that. <laughs> I'm just not good at straight, okay? And then I'm just going to squirt out some paint. I think I'm going to start with the black. And I add, might add more colors, I'm not sure. Just kind of getting a feel of what I want to do. So I'm just going to squirt just a little bit of this enamel paint. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my dabbers. I think I'll do the medium sized one. And I'm going to load it up with paint. 
and very gently I'm going to go on my paper towel a little bit just to remove a little bit of that excess color. Okay, all right, and I'm going to start dabbing. So all you're going to do is just gently tap it, just very, very gently. You can go in and get a little bit more color. And I want to make sure that it's a nice even coating, okay? Very cool. Alrighty, but I don't want to go too crazy because I don't want to mess up my design here. Okay. And I think that I'm just going to stick with the black um, and then I'll just add maybe touches of colors with my paint pens. I think that's my plan here. Hmm, let's see, which other one can I do? So I'm going to take this little eye, and I'm going to put it right beside my design here. But let's lift this up. Let's see. Let's give it a peek and see what we have there. Look at how gorgeous that is. Do you see that? How gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this right now. Wow. Very cool. And I did, I went a little bit of an act, I added just a little bit too much paint, so it's a little bit smudgy. You guys can't see it, but I can. Uh, but that's okay. I don't like things to look perfect anyway, so I'm totally okay with that. Alright, so now we're going to take this, and I just have to be very careful about that design now. because it's not fully dry so I want to just make sure that I pay close attention to that. I'm going to put this on as straight as I can. Alright, let's see. Okay, so there we go. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to have to hold the inside now. I'm going to grab my paint again, and we're just going to go in there and dab. But this is great, you know, if you're not a professional doodler like me. I still don't trust myself yet with doodling. I've been trying to teach myself, and it's better, but... Which it shouldn't be, I don't know why, like it's just one of those things that I'm a little bit, like a little critical of myself with, you know, because I'm not with other stuff for some, for some reason, and doodling is supposed to be completely free, you know, but, so really, you would think that out of anything that I do, that would be the least thing that I care about, but I just like having these stencils, they're really beautiful stencils, and they would be awesome. Try not to overdo it like I did last time. Okay. But I just see a little bit of white spots. Okay? I'm going to take it. Maybe I should have let it sit for a few minutes. And we're going to lift it off. Just like that. Oh, I like that. Very cool. Alrighty. And let's do another design for that edge there. I'll do this one. And remember, I am going to enhance this um, with the doodles. So, even more doodles. So, no worries there. And I don't care if it's a little off this time. I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm going to stop being a perfectionist because I just want to enjoy this process and I do not enjoy when I'm being finicky and picky like that, so we're just going to go with it.
I can just, like I said, you can just take your rubbing alcohol and take it off if you haven't get some out of there. Just like that. Okay. Wow. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Isn't that cool? Well, wow. okay. And this is going to be a longer video, so prepare yourself, please. <laughs> okay, just because I want to do at least one video in real time. Um, it's okay if you have something else to do. I completely understand, but I just want to do one in real time. I haven't done one in real time in a while, so I think it's good. And I think that I'm going to use this. So I'm just kind of looking through and seeing um, which stencil I like and that kind of thing. So I think I'm going to do another stencil, a little bit higher, on this mug here. Just take it and stick it down. And these stick-on stencils are awesome. I've never used them before, so they're pretty cool. And you know what? They, it dries really quick. This paint, this enamel paint dries super quick because I just put my hands in it and it's dry. So, Alrighty. Okay. Take it. Again, we're going to dab, 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 dab. And I'm not too worried about it if it's a little bit off. Just because this is a fun doodle mug does not have to be perfect, but you see how easy it is to line up these stencils if you feel so inclined to, to do so. Now, when I doodle with the pins, I will put that part of the video on fast motion, just because it might take me some time to, to decide what I'm going to do, what kind of little embellishments and that kind of thing. So. And I might have messed this up because I see a little bit of the stencil sticking up, but we will work with it. That's okay. So that looks beautiful too. I'm loving it. Okay. Very cool. Alrighty. Let's do... These are so nice. Like, they're perfect for stenciling and doodles. I love it. And I have no idea where this is going. I'm just having fun. Okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it underneath. I think that I want to kind of keep everything a little bit central. But I really like that there. That's really pretty. I'm just going to continue this design here. Alrighty. Okay. Just like that. Okay, we're going to take it and do some more dabbing here. But these enamel paints are so awesome and they dry so quick and it does take them four days to cure, so just leave it to air dry for four days and then you're then you're gonna bake it and you're good to go. It doesn't take very much at all. And these daubers are awesome. They make it super easy. Cause I've tried like a regular stencils with glass and it just kind of smudges so these are great to have stick on little stencils and very cool all right the thing is just to make sure that it's stuck on very well oh perfect wow i love it so there we go guys that's what we got okay i love that and then it would be nice if I could find like something to go right in here. Some type of big, maybe not big, but oh, 
Okay, so you know what? I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to take this and dab out that paint. Alrighty. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to start the dueling process. So I think right now I'm leaning towards, I think I'm going to add some color. So I'm going to grab a couple more colors of my paint pens and you will see me. I'm just going to shake them up and then I can draw on my mug. And I'm going to give this just a few minutes to dry but it's really already dry. It dries super quick. I mean, I probably shouldn't be messing with it, but I'm going to. There we go. And then I can outline, just enhance it a lot, okay? So I am going to do that, and I'll be right back.
how it looks. Let me bring you up close. I kind of love it, and I'm really surprised. At first, I wasn't really liking it, but I just stepped back to took a look and started stop criticizing myself and I just decided to just have fun with it so I'm super excited I love the way that it turned out I love all the spots and everything it's very cool so well wow. and it was made just with those beautiful stencils from deco art and um, just some paint pens and I did get some spots on it but it's very easy you just take your rubbing alcohol and um, you can wipe away the paint so um, as I said, you do want it to cure for about four days. Um, it's only actually eight hours with the paint pens and then you bake it. Um, but I'm gonna let mine cure for four days just because I have that other paint. I have the regular enamel paint on there too. And you know what, if I can't get out some spots, that's okay. But if you just keep working it, it comes up. But I love the way that it turned out. This has been such a great fun project, you know, and one that I wasn't really comfortable with because I'm not really a doodler, um, but I love it. And this is how I did the the handle, and it's not perfect, it's not straight, they're not perfect circles, but yeah, I'm just very happy with the, with the results, and I'll definitely use this. This will be my new favorite mug. And if you wanted to, you could even write something on here, like create or something fun, um, but I think I'm going to leave it there, and as I said, I'll let it cure just um, in a warm spot in my house and then I will bake it and let's see how long we have to bake it for so we need to bake it for 30 minutes at 325 in a non preheated oven yeah that's it and then you let it cool with the garage door open with the oven door open and it is dishwasher safe it is dishwasher safe and then after that you let it sit for a couple days so these are so much fun to make and thank you deco art for these wonderful products and um, thank you guys for watching I hope you check out more videos um, for the hashtag sorry this is a long one but I want to do one kind of in real time I know I didn't do the doodling in real time but that would take a little too long um, that would be an hours of video <laughs> with as slow as I doodle so but um, I'm glad that you got to be with me when I started it, for sure, and see the stenciling and that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. I'm super excited about that. So um, if you guys have any questions about the products, let me know. I'm going to hold it like this. And um, I will see you guys next time. Make sure you go check out the other artists for the hashtag love summer love fall art I'm I keep saying summer but love fall art and I'm actually gonna have a few recipes for some hot chocolate that I like to make Mexican hot chocolate that's my favorite and then um, some apple cider too and then I'm gonna have a special recipe too that I love with it which is chai tea it's so good it's like spelled like Thai it's delicious tea. It's Vietnamese tea. It's so good. So I'll have recipes for my favorite delicious recipes that I love to use um, during this time of year. Okay, so um, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Have a great day.